Okay, good morning everybody. I'd like to start with my presentation. Uh, so, it's about the optical layout uh, recognition uh, that we provide uh, SCCS. So the subtitle here is from unstructured to structured newspaper data and the role of content providers in the overall process. So, to give you an overview, what I will present you with this presentation is uh, yeah, some words about CCS uh, and about the general workflow for masterization of newspapers, then a bit more specific on uh, OLR, so what's about layout and structural uh, analysis, and then a bit about the workflow that we are using, and that workflow also involves uh, the engagement of the content providers we are working for. And then it's about quality assurance to really assure the quality of the output. Even Stefan, you don't like this work, but uh, no, 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 still right talk context, about quality assurance. In the right context, it's something. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Good. So yeah, and then at the end, a bit about the output, so a bit about the Metz Auto package. And then I uh, prepared a demo where I use a, um, already a presentation system to show some results of some newspaper issues we already digitized. So about CCS, yeah, CCS Content Conversion Specialist, we are based in Hamburg. Uh, we are a technical project partner here, and we provide our DocWorks technology. This has uh, actually developed in a European research project uh, which was called Meta E, that was from 2000 to 2003. And we were again a technical partner in that project, and in that project we developed the DocWorks technology at that point of time, was more focusing on books and journals rather than newspapers. But later on, we improved the technology, and today also it supports newspapers. Um, our role here in the project is that we will convert 2 million uh, newspaper pages actually for five different library partners, and uh, we will convert them down to the structural article level. So the page volume is for Bibliothekas in de France, we will do 1 million newspaper pages, National Library for Stania, uh, of Estonia, 500,000 pages, and then University Library Hamburg, 480,000, National Library Finland, 90,000, and for Berlin we will do about 10,000 pages. So the distributed uh, workflow that we provide uh, also enables the contribution of the five project partners. So by giving them part of the technology that will be uh, mainly installed uh, uh, on, on their side, they have the ability to check the output. So what we deliver, they can do sample uh, checking uh, and even do correction on things, metadata and even full text or uh, headline text and so on. If, if they like. Yeah, and we will also contribute to the specification of the metadata model. It's already been mentioned yesterday that there will be a specification uh, in October, and so we will contribute especially in the area where we um, work on the profile for the uh, structural article level. So this uh, shows um, a general workflow for mass digitization. So as you see, it includes scanning here, but the scanning is mainly provided um, by the uh, content providers themselves. So we only receive image and metadata. And in the center you see the blue block here, this is the conversion, and it includes things like imaging, the layout analysis, so to find the certain blocks on the newspaper page, and then uh, we also do OCR on text blocks, and we do intelligence structure recognition, means then building from all the blocks that we recognize and the text that we have, that we really group those things to articles. Um, and then we have a model here uh, that supports the QA. Um, so we have a reject model where we look for certain failures in the document, so bad OCR results, uh, bad structure recognition, and these kind of things. So and, uh, depending on that reject model, uh, we will send certain documents for QA, and then as you see uh, on the top right, so this manual QA can be either be performed in-house at a cultural in institution, can be done near shore or even offshore, India, Asia, and so on. And you can also use multiple locations to work on the QA and correction of the output we generate. 
And then we send the things to the final output. Uh, in mass utilization projects, we also do random QA. So even if the reject model says uh, this document is okay, no failure in it, uh, we check randomly uh, uh, documents to see if there are still remaining problems, still remaining errors. So we will tune our reject model and make it better by doing the sampling. But at the end, then we deliver the output. So, yeah, layout and structure uh, analysis. Um, so our layout analysis is based on a bottom-up approach. It means we're starting with a pixel on the page and then grouping pixels towards the text lines, text lines to text blocks, and so on. So from the smallest uh, entity, which uh, is with regard to an image, is a pixel, then we explore the whole page, let's say. And also with this te technology, we recognize things like pictures, advertisement, these uh, type of, of blocks. Um, yeah, so we have a general rule system uh, in our system that enables the recognitions of words, text lines, text blocks, as I said, but also columns, and then we will also classify these blocks as uh, text blocks, illustrations, advertisement, and so on. And especially also in this project here, we will also have a page classification. So we will recognize the title page, content page, illustration page, and advertisement page. So later on, uh, you could use these uh, page types for browsing in the content or even searching. Um, so the structural analysis, um, yes, through classification of headlines and grouping of zones, we will then build articles. And we also take care of continuations. So when an article is continued, for instance, from page one to page seven, so we will take care of this continuation so, and also uh, find and tag the continuation text itself on page 7. So at the end, when we describe an article in the Metz Apple package, you will always get the full article. So with both parts from page 1 and page 7. So on the right you see, so the first step of the layout analysis that we're building these basic blocks, so text, uh, illustration, advertisement, and so on. And then in the second phase, you see when we did the structure analysis that we have all the headlines and that we group the blocks to articles and so on. So that's how it looks like. So the uh, all our workflow we're using in the uh, European newspaper project um, is a conversion without scanning because, as I said, we will get the images, we will get the metadata. So the digital image uh, and the metadata is, is delivered to, to us, so to our conversion fa facility. So we use our facility in, in Hamburg, we have a data center there. Um, so we will inspect uh, the data that is coming, so mainly uh, our content providers will ship hard drives uh, with the data on it. And then we will ingest this data to our data center. We will do the conversion and the metadata recording with our DocWorks technology and then with the document delivery and again we will uh, deliver um, the output on hard drives. Um, but there might be also things, scenarios where we have uh, yeah, to reject certain things if they don't apply to the specifications or if we encounter very big problems but then we might reject uh, certain uh, documents and which is uh, that So we offer to our content uh, partners, to, to the content providers, uh, three different scenarios how they can be engaged in the quality assurance process. So one scenario would be conversion at the library. So we will install a full system at the library. They have the control of the processing, data processing. They can do the QA in-house. So everything will be on, on their side. And scenario B would be we would do the conversion at CCS in our data center. But the final QA will be at the library. But again, they will get an installation of the Docbox technology. And via the internet, uh, we will uh, provide the, the data to that, uh, let's say, slave system, because our is then the master system. And uh, so they are then able to check uh, the output, to do corrections. And then automatically the master system will ingest the corrections what the library partner has changed and we will generate the, the output. That was the second scenario. The third scenario is um, 
that we do uh, again the conversion at CCS and that we just deliver backup documents so we can create backup documents with our technology so we ship them the backup documents these backup documents will then ingest it into the docwork system at library side so but then they have to create the output so this is a disadvantage so so at least you can see scenario B is what more or less everybody's uh, elected. So uh, we get the data on hard drives, uh, we will do the processing with the master system at CCS, um, with Stockworks. Um, every uh, content provider uh, has also a Stockworks installation. And via the internet, uh, we will transfer the data to the remote QA system. And as I said before, the library partner can then yeah, correct things, check things, and so on. And via the internet, again, we will get all this uh, data that has been modified, will be automatically ingested in our workflow, and we will then create the output, the Metzato packages. So, quality assurance. Um, yeah, so we at CCS, we will do an automated markup and we will also do a basic manual correction. So we will check if headlines, illustrations, tables, captions, advertisements have been recognized correctly, but also article segmentation and grouping of zones into articles. But it's a, it's a very basic, let's say, manual correction. We won't uh, see every error, correct every error. That's why it's also the role of the libraries to do some sampling, to look at the output that we create, and they might have the chance <coughs> to correct um, the, the content. So at the content provider, actually, we recommend um, to check and correct zoning, so correct classification of blocks, let's say, as, based as text or illustration, and then to look at the article segmentation, so correct identification of headlines, text blocks and captions. Um, but then also the grouping, if we group <coughs> those uh, blocks to uh, correctly to articles, uh, including text and illustration, um, but also you uh, would be able to correct the metadata because we take the metadata as it is, as we get the metadata, but the metadata might be wrong. So the library partner has a chance by using our editor, metadata editor, which is integrated in DocWorks, to really check the metadata, and if you like, you can correct the metadata so that you have better quality on your metadata. Um, an optional would be you can correct the page types that we uh, recognize fully automatically, the four ones that, 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 I, that I mentioned. Uh, page numbers, yeah, you can correct the page sequence if the page sequence is wrong, or even perform text correction if you like on specific zones like headlines or captions. So headlines might be interesting, so on several uh, mass digitalization projects, especially for newspapers, uh, institutions like that the headlines uh, being corrected, because the headlines are mainly used for browsing. So it's nice for the user that not so many text errors are in those headlines. You know, so. so that's an option here, if you like, uh, you can do this. So output, um, let's add to package, um, yeah, so let's add to metadata schemas, uh, we use them to describe the structured digital output. Um, a newspaper issue processed uh, with Stockworks um, is then converted to one XML, XML file, and this METS XML file, by using the so-called structural map, then enables to link the image files um, together with the logic and structure, and even in the auto files, the text box belonging to an article will be linked by using this structural map within the METS file. So, benefits of structural markup are clearly that you uh, have a better browsing and more precise text search if you search on article base rather than searching on, on, full, uh, on full pages. Uh, we discussed yesterday a bit if you look for two words but you're interested in having them in one article. So this is a benefit here. Um, you have a better access display on various devices like tablet, mobile devices if you just have the article. Um, there are also possibilities to further use the article classification and 
cluster maybe articles, they used data text mining technologies to further classify those things to do clustering, grouping. Um, and also it enables user en engagement because uh, to correct full page uh, with text might be very, very boring. But if you read an article, if you're interested in an article, if you have the article in front of you, you see errors, maybe users are very motivated to, to correct those uh, articles. So, and they might even classify articles. Uh, if the classification is wrong, maybe if they're interested uh, in this stuff, they might change the classification or even add additional classification. All that would be possible. And I mean, it's, it's just a click. It's even easier than doing text correction. Yeah? So, classification uh, by end users would be an interesting topic. Um, yeah, and then annotation or building personal collection to collect certain articles if you're interested in build your own personal uh, collection. So these are the benefits of article structure. Yeah, and then at the end, sharing articles via social media platforms like Facebook, and Twitter, and so on. So yeah, access and presentation. I mean, Europeana is working in this project. Uh, they are extending their portal that it will uh, support newspapers. Um, as well as uh, later on the content providers uh, on that portal, you will also find uh, the newspaper content. I mean, we already talked about it, but there are a few, um, or let's say, uh, there are uh, some existing newspaper presentation systems like uh, Trove, uh, the National Library of Australia, Library of Congress with their chronicling in America, that's based on the National Digital Newspaper Program in, in the US. Then Dutch National Library with their data bank of digital daily newspapers, right? Oh my god, is that right? Okay. <laughs> okay, and then, yeah, National Library of Luxembourg, was in Luxembourg, and, the, uh, and uh, yeah, there are many more actually. Um, yeah, at the end, I would like to show some of the samples that we already processed. I will use uh, a system called Viridian. This is developed by a company in New Zealand called Digital Library Common Resulting. So uh, they have a system, presentation system, uh, which is very nice with newspapers. It supports the article structure, is able to ingest meta Agile with all the markup uh, structure, the metadata, and they can take advantage of uh, that. So uh, I have to interact a bit more with the laptop, so I have to sit down and uh, maybe can take it. Um, 
Yeah, maybe let's start with the German one here, actually. Um, so you get a little uh, lender here. So you see there are issues in April and May uh, 1936. So we can open here. And then there's a calendar here. There are two issues. Actually, let's take this one here. So you see here on the left side, um, it represents um, the, uh, on the structural markup the individual articles with the source headlines. Uh, on the left here on the right, you see the, the, the image. So you can browse in this table of contents here and um, yeah, just click on an article. So in the table of contents here, you see a mixture of uh, Russian headlines and uh, German headlines. Uh, so if I click on this one here. So you see on the right side this German article with the factor, and on the left here you see the Russian article with the several fonts. So um, and how would we do it? Okay, we will use several. Also, our dictionaries in parallel, so we just lower all these lexicons. And with the Russian is another channel, because it's also in one document we have modern and old Russian. So Epi provides this, so we have to load several dictionaries here, so German, Fraktur, old, new Russian, and these kind of things. So it will slow down the OCR, but it helps. Okay. Um, so we have also two French um, issues here, newspaper issues. So if we just go to the search dialog, so you have an advanced search where you might use things uh, like the classification of articles and so on, but uh, maybe just let's search for Paris here, simple search. So as you can see, then we have a hit list here. And I mean, since we have the article structure, always if you look for is such term, the hit list here is sorted by the article itself. So you see the headlines, and then you can click actually here on, on an article, and you see also it states here whether this is a section, whether this is an article, and so on. If there are more classifications, it would 
don't show up here actually. So this is uh, yeah, quite an article here. So we zoom up a bit. Here you see the high run circles, it's on the left part, and again, if you like, you can again use the function here to correct this article. Its login and its password were, were affected, so the users have to log in or register for that service, so it's controlled somehow. Who is correcting the text, but it's possible in that system. Yeah, so these were some samples. And, uh, Showing the article structure, this one that's from the Bibliothek Nationale France, National Library of Estonia, and uh, State Library of Berlin. Okay, well, we can use that uh, only for, for test purposes, or we can use uh, there are many functionalities from the other I mean, I, I, I think that uh, there are, there are many, uh, many function, uh, functionalities, uh, possibilities, that are already proposed by the other Actually, the Viridian system, like others, can also do pre as a presentation system as well as ingesting the metadata package. Mm -hmm. And then Viridian is just taking advantage of all the structured metadata we have in the metadata package uh, and is just using it here. As you can see, the headlines, issue, date, number, all that kind of thing. So, so it's a, I would say it's a typical system. If you look at Tro from National Library of Australia, it looks similar to, let's say, there are other systems also looking similar. So it's a typical system how, it, if you do it right somehow, let's say, and even use uh, or give users this chance to interact, in this case, with, uh, with a text correction. So this is uh, <coughs> uh, it's a typical uh, presentation system for newspapers at that quality level, let's say. And this is one uh, free to use correction? No, it's a, it's a commercial system. It's based on an open source Greenstone, but there's a commercial layer to ingest the Mets Alpha to deal in the right way with Mets Alpha to have a nice presentation layer. So that's on top. So you'll see it's selling this Wikipedia system. So you can get it as a small entry level system, but up to very uh, for masterization, so that it really can uh, host uh, millions of newspaper pages. Any questions? Thank <laughs> you. 